Hitler. God, I can't believe I'm doing this story. It turns out um, that uh, people are taking Hitler speeches and uh, having AI translate them and putting them to mu with music background and uh, posting them on, on, on TikTok. So they're very short videos of segments from a Hitler speech with AI yelling them in English. Uh, and, and these things are going viral. They say there are about 50,000 of these clips now um, are getting millions and millions and millions of views. And the thing about it is it's not, it's not just getting views accidentally. It's because people are liking them. And people are disco discovering a side of Hitler they did not know. And they did not know because the teachers haven't taught them. They did not know because they have a pretty retarded understanding of history and understanding of politics. So here is Hitler on these videos yelling, like he always yells, right, about global capitalism and the evil of global capitalism. Globalism, cosmopolitanism, as they called it back then. He's yelling about the benefits of socialism. Yeah, socialism. Hitler was a socialist, a national socialist. That's what the Nazi party is. And he's not kidding. He really is a socialist. That's the ideology. It's national socialism. And he's, you know, after basically globalization, uh, capitalism, global capitalism, the Jews, of course, but the Jews in the context of capitalism, most leftists agree with that because Marx has conditioned them to that already. Um, he accuses Marx of being a Jew and in the pockets of the financiers, of the capitalists, and communism as a betrayal of socialism. He presents himself, Hitler, as the true socialist. And I think people, young people, listen to this out of context, right, on, on, on Twitter, and they're like, huh? I always thought, I mean, they probably think, I always thought Hitler was a fascist, and fascist is right wing, and right wing is the opposite of socialism. So Hitler must have been kind of a capitalist, and he was defending the capitalists. That's what Hitler's about. God, he really turned out to be a pretty good guy because he's a socialist. He cares about the workers. He constantly talks about the workers and, and an uprising of the workers against, this is what my teachers taught me is good. This isn't bad. Um, so what you get on TikTok right now is both alt-right crazies going, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and they, they, know what they know a little bit more of what they're doing. But then you get a bunch of leftist kids who have no clue. All, all they've, they've taught history by they woke professors and woke teachers, and they've been taught that, you know, it, 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 there's this political spectrum. On one side is the left, communism, uh, and, and, and those are kind of the good guys, although it's, you know, it's never been done perfectly and they've never done it right, but socialism is basically good. And then on the other side is fascism together with capitalism, and those are the evil, and capitalism and fascism are racist and everything else, and that's evil, and that's where Hitler belongs. And then suddenly they discover, but wait a minute, Hitler is saying all the things the socialists say. He's talking about the workers. He's talking about uh, being against finance and being against capitalism and being against all the things that I was taught were bad. And yeah, he's, he's, he's accusing the Jews, but... So did Marx, and so did my professors, really. And, and the Jews are successful, and, and they're bad. So this all fits. I mean, it's really, really, really scary out there. This is a generation that gets much of its news and knowledge about the world out there from TikTok, from social media. And literally, Hitler videos 
are doing well. Now, part of this is the people don't know who Hitler was. They kind of know Holocaust and stuff like that, maybe. Maybe. They know World War II. But it's a taboo topic. So the fact that Hitler was a national socialist, the fact that his ideology was a socialist ideology, the fact that there's no big difference between Marx, you know, in, in, in a sense of between communism and fascism, they're in a sense on the same side of the political spectrum, that they're both socialist, that socialists embrace all of that. They don't know that. They don't even, they've never really, you know, probably studied Hitler in terms of actually read him or read about him in a serious way. He's held, I think, in our modern culture as a caricature. And then you hear him and they go, oh, that, that makes sense. That, that kind of makes sense. And he comes across as an anti-Semite, which is, of course, completely consistent with the modern left, not as a racist, which they don't like. They don't like racists, but he's really just an anti-Semite. He hates the same people we hate. And it's, it's really, really scary that they embrace this stuff, or at the very least, they can't filter it out, or they can't combat it, they can't challenge it, they can't say anything against it. And it just, it just becomes part of the world in which they live. Part of this is the fact for example, in, in, in Germany, that you, or, or in, I, think in, I think this is true of Amazon, you can't buy Mein Kampf. You can't buy a, a Hitler, a, you know, book of Hitler because, you know, it's, it, it's, it's kind of bad. It's not good. But, but people should read it. People should know what he said. People should know what he stood for. Not in sound bites curated by who knows whom on TikTok. But they should read it from the devil's mouth. Now, the clips are often accompanied by popular music and instrumental beats. Um, it, oh, by the way, all this supposedly violates TikTok's hate speech policies, but they're having a really hard time dealing with it. They're taking down some videos, but more pop up as they take them down. Um, you know, the, the translations uh, done by AI, and uh, the videos are altered, and uh, a lot of times they have all kinds of pleasing backgrounds, right? Um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, videos uh, like they have scenic imagery or, or, or stuff like that. Um, people are commenting on the, on, the, on the thread. You know, Adolf Hitler was a good and kind man, it seems like. And, and people are saying, this changed my view of him. Like, this minute TikTok video changed people's view. I mean, how shallow do you have to be? I mean, it's not just that idiotic Tucker guest who is rethinking their conception of Hitler, but people on TikTok are getting a new perspective. Uh, they say there are over 50,000 TikTok posts that have used the audio clips of the Nazi speeches. Um, not only Hitler, they also have some of Goebbels, uh, who was, of course, the chief propagandist of the Nazi party. Um, and uh, these things are going viral. Some of them are getting, one of these got 6 million views or something. Um, in the meantime, TikTok has said they've taken down 1,300 pieces of related content. <laughs> 1,300, they're 50,000. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, the accounts that launched this are the alt-right type accounts, the white supremacist, anti-Semites kind of uh, accounts. But then uh, these young kids who are leftists, they don't know. They, they, can't, they can't differentiate. Socialism is socialism. Let's go for it. This is why I said left and right ultimately unite to kill us, the people who believe in freedom. Um, anyway, beware on TikTok. Um, it's, um, it's a dangerous place. 
you guys know what you guys know how to how to how to deal with this. I'm sure, but if you got kids, if you got others, uh, yeah, you got to monitor this kind of stuff, or at least give them the tools to deal with it. Um, and, and, you know, self-identified Nazis are clearly using TikTok purposefully in order to launch this stuff, in order to try to get new adherents. <laughs>